on the latest Hudson Valley City to create its own website. News Center 6. The city of Beacon is on the way up with revitalization on Main Street, the waterfront, and of course the coming of the Dia Arts Center. Now Beacon is on the World Wide Web. The city's new website was launched today, and News Center 6's Jeff Yin tells us all about it. A few mouse clicks away, and you can get a tour of Beacon itself. A new website offers 30 pages on the city, and those pages are divided into three categories, all to help both visitors and residents find their way around the area. Well, it's broken down into a tour uh, section so that people that come into the city can get an idea of the city with pictures, stuff that the city features to them. Also has a city services section for the current residents, and it provides vital information that's hard for them to access at this time. And also we have a new section that will give them up current events in the city. Scroll through the site and you'll find lots of factual and demographical information. Pictures of Beacon old and new, regional attractions, and community organizations and listings. You can even access information about Beacon's government affairs right from home. The agenda before city council meetings, um, the actual minutes of the meetings after they take place, information like... Um, the city code book, which is the laws that the city goes by, and the charter which governs the city. The City of Beacon website has been a labor of love for both Councilman Steve Gold and high school student Jason Fish. They began their project a year ago, and so far the feedback on the site has been only positive. Sometimes my friends think it's great. It'll give them a lot more information, such as recreation programs that are offered to them and stuff like that. For News Center 6, I'm Jeff Yin. If you'd like to check out the new Beacon website, the address is www.cityofbeacon.org. Back in 17.